Picture yourself as an employee in a retail shop aiming to monitor your sales. Creating an Excel summary table allows you to compile a comprehensive list of products, their prices, and the quantity sold, simplifying the identification of popular items and your revenue calculations. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA-related challenges. I'm Shahri Arabra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create summary table in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. With the data from the COVID-19 pandemic, I will attempt to create a summary table in Excel. This dataset has four different columns containing the name of the continents, respective years, number of total vaccinations, and death rate per million people per day in columns B, C, D, and E correspondingly. To summarize a table, pivoting is the most popular approach. So, I'll start with the pivot table feature. First, select any cell inside the data range. Navigate to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Table on the Tables group of commands. A pop-up named Pivot Table from Table or Range will appear. You can see that the cell reference of the entire dataset is already selected in the Table or Range box. Select the existing worksheet to place the Pivot Table and give the cell reference G4 in the Location box. Click OK. And here's my pivot table. Now I'll rearrange the pivot table fields. Drag the continent field into the rows area and the total vaccinations field to the values area. And this is the summary table of my dataset. If you don't see the sum option in the pivot table value section, then right click on the values area. Here select the value field settings option. From the value field settings dialog box, select the sum option and click OK. Or you can use other options if your calculation demands so. And here it is. The final summary table is before our eyes. Excel 365 has quite amazing features like the unique function. In this process, I am going to use the unique and sumifs function. Here, I'll show the total daily death amount for each unique continent. First, I'll create a data table in the G4 to H10 range. Here, I'll apply all borders. Then, I'll name the first column continent. And the second, daily deaths. Now, I'll use the format painter to copy the format of cell E4 and apply this to the G4 to H4 range. Select cell G5 and enter a formula. Here, I'll use the unique function. Place an equal sign. Press tab to select the unique function. As the array argument, I'll insert B5 to B22 range. It will return a list of all unique values found within the specified range B5 to B22. Duplicate values will be omitted and the result will be a list of distinct values from that range. And press enter. Look, it removes the repeated items from the column and only the distinct values are present. Now we'll use another amazing function named the sum ifs function. In cell H5, I'll enter the formula equal to sum ifs. As the sum res argument, I'll insert E5 to E22 range. Comma, as criteria range 1 argument, I'll place B5 to B22 range. Comma, and as the criteria 1 argument, I'll place G5 and a hash. It will select all the contents below the G5 cell. Close the parenthesis. It checks each cell in the B5 to B22 range to see if it meets the criteria specified in the G5 to G10 range. If a cell in the B5 to B20 range meets the criteria, the corresponding value in the E5 to E20 range is included in the sum. The formula then adds up all the values in the E5 to E22 range that meet the specified criteria and returns the sum. And press enter. And this is the final outcome. If you don't have Excel 365, then this method is especially for you. As the unique function isn't available in all versions, you have to do it in a manual way in other versions of Excel. First, I created a data table just like the previous method. Then, copy the values in the B5 to B22 range and paste them in cell G5, which is in the first column of our newly created data table. 
to remove duplicates, advance to the Data tab. In the Data Tools section, click on Remove Duplicates. This pop-up will appear and select Continue with the current selection and click on the Remove Duplicates button. In the Remove Duplicates dialog box, click OK. Subsequently, how many duplicate items have been removed will appear in the message box. Just click OK to ignore it. In the final step, I'll use the SUMIF function in cell H5 equal to SUMIF. As the range argument, I'll insert B5 to B22, comma, as the criteria argument, I'll insert G5 to G10 range, comma, and the optional sum range argument, I'll insert E5 to E22 range. Close the parenthesis. This formula calculates the sum of values in the range E5 to E22 based on a condition. It adds up values from E5 to E22 while corresponding values in B5 to B22 match any value in G5 to G10 range. Click OK. Look, the output is completely same as the previous method. Just to format it, I'll select the range, go to the Home tab and I'll apply all borders. And that's it. In this tutorial, I have shown three methods to create summary table in Excel. Follow them carefully to do it yourself. Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.